Good. Well, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is John Mitchell. Uh, I'd like to welcome you to the ODI for what promises to be a very interesting discussion. And I'd also like to welcome our online participants who are joining us via uh, the live stream. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can see me. Please stay tuned because uh, there will be an opportunity for you to join the discussions and we'd be delighted to hear from you. So, what's this meeting all about? Well, essentially, I guess, it's about uh, improving humanitarian aid. And many of us will have been involved in some of the ideas and processes that have been put into place over the past decade or so. And today, we're going to put two of them under the microscope. And so, we're going to begin with uh, checking in with the progress made by the initiatives who've been developing and rolling out humanitarian standards. And we're going to follow this by reviving an old question, but I think still very much a relevant question, about the certification of humanitarian agencies. Now, I should say that both of these projects are, are distinct, but I think they're both part of a belief that the humanitarian aid can be improved by drawing on the, the principles and the practices associated with the new public sector management to make a professional, more professional and ultimately more effective uh, for those that need it. And I think that part of our purpose here today is to <coughs> test whether this assumption is working in practice. <coughs> and we'll do this in the following way. We'll begin with a first-hand update from Matthew on the application and use of humanitarian standards from the Joint Standards Initiative. And the question in my mind, uh, at least, about this is, are we now seeing the rewards for all of the efforts that the system has made uh, to develop and roll out standards over the past decade, decade and a half? So, are the standards being used properly? Are they, be who, who, who's using them? And crucially, I think, do they make aid any better? What are the lessons that we've learned so far? Do we need to change what we're doing and if we do, why and how? Matthew, no pressure. <laughs> and we'll follow this with uh, a presentation from SCHR, the Steering Committee for Humanitarian Response, on the certification of humanitarian agencies. Now, I guess when I thought about this question, the first one that popped into my mind, uh, maybe you have thought the same thing, really, is, is whether certification is desirable in the first place. And if it is, um, does the humanitarian system, with all its weird little quirks and its complexities, actually lend itself to certification? If it does, what would the system look like? Uh, who would it be for? In other words, who would be in and who would be out? Uh, what criteria would agencies be certified against? And a big question, who would we trust to do it? So. After that, we're going to turn to um, our hand-picked panel of highly experienced and wise people who will give a, a short response to what we've heard. <laughs> and then I will open up the floor to uh, the, uh, the floor and to our live stream participants. And we'll try and get to grips with the big questions. Now, we're going to finish on time, um, 5.15 at the latest. And after that, you're all very, very welcome to join us for some drinks and some nibbles. So I think, I think we're ready to go. So let's, uh, let's get going. And first up, it's Matthew. So Matthew, over to you. Before, before we get turn to Matthew, let me introduce you to him, because I haven't done that yet. Um, now, I think many of you will know that Matthew is obviously the humanitarian director of CAFOD. And he has extensive management and leadership experience, uh, having worked and led humanitarian operations around the globe. He's had over 25 years experience in many countries. And he has a very particular deep-seated passion for accountability and giving voice to those affected by crisis and vulnerability. And he's been chair of HAP International uh, for some time. And he's also now the chair of the Joint Standards Initiative and he's directly supported the development of Sphere, People in Aid, HAP, and ALMAP. So thank you to the latter particularly there. 
He's had a renowned track record, or has a renowned track record in bringing together agencies and shaping collective and collaborative humanitarian action and representing the sector at a variety of diplomatic and operational levels. He also chairs the CBHA, the Consortium for British Humanitarian Agencies, and is a member of Caritas Humanitarian Council and a board member of the Bristol University Cabot Institute. Matthew, over to you.